the Miami Dolphins have had competition at a number of positions during training camp and the preseason. Some players have stepped up and seemingly secured their spot on the roster, while others remain in open competition. On Tuesday morning's presser, coach Brian Flores conceded that at least three or four roster spots remain open. His message to those players? Work hard, keep improving, take advantage of your opportunities, I've mentioned that to our team many times. In life, it's about taking advantage of your opportunities whether it's football or business or really anything that you're working towards, if you get an opportunity, you want to take advantage of it. For those guys, those two or three spots that are available, they'll have some opportunities at practice, they'll have opportunities in the game and if they play well they give themselves the best opportunity to make the team. There are a couple of things to unpack here. First of all, this is about as much of a direct answer as you'll ever get from Coach Flores. He comes from a New England coaching tree that is infamous for keeping things in-house, that means a lot of cliché answers and company lines. Doesn't mean he's dishonest, he just won't share information that he doesn't have to, and why would he? He put this out for those players on the bubble to hear. This is an opportunity, don't take it for granted and leave everything on the field. We should also wonder, which spots are still up for grabs? This most recent series of cuts saw the receiver room shrink and Miami part with one of their more experienced offensive linemen. The Dolphins got their roster down to 80 this past Tuesday and will need to get to the final 53-man roster by the beginning of September. Some of the positions that were contested earlier in the offseason remain as such, while some new ones may be popping up. Let's take a look at the three position groups that are still in open competition and contemplate who might make it to the final roster. The wide receivers. The tight race in the Miami Dolphins receiver room has been well documented this offseason. They came into camp with 14 players, and while this most recent series of cuts took three names off that list, the remaining spots are still hotly contested. Isaiah Ford seems destined to remain in this on-again off-again relationship with the Miami Dolphins. Robert Foster, who I selected as one of my potential surprise camp standouts, did in fact have a strong training camp. Unfortunately for him, it wasn't enough to stay on the team. Him and Mac Hollins were likely competing for one spot, and Hollins had a really impressive camp. Lynn Bowden Jr. unfortunately was placed on IR, ending his sophomore campaign prematurely. That leaves 11 receivers remaining on the roster. The team is likely to break camp with seven players in that group not counting Will Fuller, who won't count against the roster total until he is reinstated week two of the regular season. That means at least three more players from this group will have to be exposed to waivers or cut outright. We can comfortably say Jalen Waddell, Will Fuller, Albert Wilson, and Devontae Parker are safe from being cut. So, who does that leave? Mac Hollins seems to have secured himself a spot on the roster with his standout training camp. Preston Williams would be another surprise cut considering how inexpensive it is to keep him around and how impressive his high-end play has been. That leaves Jakeem Grant, Kirk Merritt, Kai Loxley, Malcolm Perry, and Khalil McLean. McLean was just added last week as a UDFA and has a slim chance to make the final team. The fact that the coaches are familiar with Grant likely bodes well for him, but he didn't take full advantage of the opportunities he had last year due to Miami's depleted receiving core. The difference is razor thin here and if any of these players ball out against Cincinnati, they could earn themselves a spot on the 53-man roster. Cornerbacks. This group has shown its talent and depth this training camp and preseason. There are also a couple of spots that are completely locked down. Byron Jones and Xavier Howard aren't going anywhere. Nick Needham and Noah Igbenogany are also likely entrenched as members of the 53-man roster. That means there are four roster spots already spoken for, and Miami broke camp with only five cornerbacks last season. That is likely because they historically target versatile players in their secondary this season is no different. Jason McCourty will probably be carried as a safety, but has the ability to play corner in a pinch the same goes for Javon Holland and Eric Rowe. So what players are left to pick from? Justin Coleman, Trill Williams, Cravon LeBlanc, Jamal Perry, Tino Ellis and Javaris Davis. Only one maybe two if they carry four safeties of those players is going to make it to the 53-man roster. Coleman has looked locked into the nickel corner spot and would cost Miami money if they cut him, so it would be a surprise to see him go. 
The final player that Chris Greer should be looking to keep around is Trill Williams. He can play safety or corner and has been impressive this camp. If they send him to waivers, you can guarantee that they won't get another shot to bring him back. Williams has a unique combination of size and athleticism that could make him a special player in the future. Oh, and he was another one of my surprise camp breakouts so keep him around. Offensive line. One of my articles wouldn't be complete if I didn't mention the offensive line, so here we go. Like most position groups, the core players are pretty safe from being cut. Austin Jackson, Solomon Kindley, Michael Deiter, Robert Hunt, and Jesse Davis started in their last preseason game and it would be a shock if any of those players didn't find their way onto the 53-man roster. Though it is worth noting that the Miami Dolphins love to remain mysterious in their process. When offensive line coach Lemuel Jean-Pierre was asked what Michael Deiter had done to earn his confidence in the starting center role, this was his answer. Deiter has worked really hard and he cares a lot and he's had the opportunity to keep going with the first group. Now, by all means we are the Dolphins, so we keep things in-house, the reason that we do things. I'll tell you right now, Matt Skura has done a great job as well. Now, this likely doesn't mean anything. It would be an interesting strategy to play one guy with the first team all of preseason only to make a switch before week one, but it isn't completely unprecedented. Either way, we can feel pretty confident that the preseason starting five, along with 2021 second round selection Liam Eichenberg are going to be safe from cuts. Last year, the Dolphins broke camp with nine offensive linemen. That leaves three spots up for grabs most likely with Matt Skura, Cameron Tom, Robert Jones, Derval Kairaz Netu, Larnell Coleman, Greg Little, and Adam Pankey still on the roster. Pankey hasn't had a good preseason, so he is likely back to the practice squad. That leaves three separate competitions, Skura vs. Tom, center, Kairaz Netu vs. Jones, guard, and Little vs. Coleman, tackle. If I was a betting man, I would say Skura, Jones, and Little will be the primary backups along with Eichenberg to start the season. Final thoughts. Training camp and preseason are all about competition. There are hundreds of NFL players that have to scratch and claw for roster spots each summer. We are getting down to final cuts and the competition will only heat up further. There are still a number of players on the Miami Dolphins with an opportunity to make their NFL dreams a reality.